Okay, pause it, guys and girls, Ben P215 here with Let's Play Undertale Part 6. Last time we left off, we, um... Ah... Uh, we met the locals of Snowden and... Apparently going on a day with Papyrus now, so... Uh, let's, uh, let's see how that plays out. Not really sure what happened music, but... I think it's more of the shock that we actually got a date and we're a little kid. Although our sexuality is sort of a mystery. Oh, the Papyrus. You look lovely this evening. So, you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Uh, where are we going? What? Oh. My house! Oh my! It's quite a chillin' patty out here. It's very nice, my. I wish I lived in a place like this. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You move it in two inches! You move it in two inches! Move it to your room! And don't bring it back! It's still here! Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> I love how the relationship seems so real between these people. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Sure, why not? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. Ah! It's a never-ending loop. Welcome to the scenic, the scenic, to s welcome to scenic, welcome to my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Ah, let's see what it ends up to. This is more depressing for me. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. <laughs> the door's locked. Okay, well... It's... it's... I'm not a slot if I did one of the first days. It's perfectly fine. Well, let's get... The boning. Uh. Oh. There's a nice room. It's an old ass PC, oh my god! The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower counter. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged, besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Hey, those are all the, the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. I guess you can smell my blood and tears on these bones. That's book one. That, that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag Nido? And Hind found it at the bay. Uh, uh, found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. 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 Yeah. I swear I speak English. <laughs> Please. Ah, yes! Action figures! A great pr reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so... How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! 
It's a pretty rocking bed. They actually never had one of those as a kid. I always had a regular plug and lid. I mean, they essentially become useless like once the kid is like you know out of that stage, if they ever get out of it. That is. <laughs> I mean, as an adult, would I mind sleeping in that thing? I do it. I do it with you. That's why I'm in your room right now. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Uh, take your time. I'll wait for you. What's in here, actually? There are no skeletons inside my closet! Except me, sometimes. Um, is, is that a, uh, is that a statement about your sexuality there? I mean, I, I, I have no idea what gender I am. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. I mean, I could be a man, female. I could be both. I could be my own gender. I could be an attack helicopter. That's what I could sexually identify as. Okay. Let's get this date on the road. Let's suck some face. The date. Okay, dating start. What? Uh, here we are on our dates. I have actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: press C key on your keyboard for dating mode. Oh. Oh, what? Wow, we I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yeah, sure. Really? Wowie! <laughs> it's me. It's like horror sucks you away. And there's a dog on the radar. Okay. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. Oh. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> oh my god. Where is this going? Oh. Oh. I think his heart exploded. No. You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! You've never been on a date before, so... I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Oh god, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. I feel so bad for this guy. Behold! <laughs> no! <laughs> a genuine compliment? Oh my god. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Mm. Mm. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. His hat. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> what? Well, then you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Guess I'll open it. What is this? Is that spaghetti? <sighs> Ugh. 
God damn it. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong! This ain't any plain oh, faster. This is a... <laughs> it's what? Silk and spaghetti finely Asian in oak and cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively <laughs> scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! <laughs> you must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! No! It's over, Nido! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus? I am? Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <clears throat> oh, shoot. Human, I, uh, I'm sorry. <gasps> what? I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> but we had so much fun together! Remember the spaghetti? Remember the spaghetti? Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I, I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. Instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me! Dark prison, a passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose our friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <gasps> <laughs> because I don't even have lips. <laughs> oh my god. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Ah! Oh, we just. That went well. Very well. That's too locked. Mm. Ooh, she made too. It's a stay tuned for a new program, MTT! This rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh. What is this? This thing is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Use a trash can. Alright, well that was... Our dates! Yes, I've had my share of interactions with people, dates, and crap. It's 
emotions, expressing them, which I will not, of course, go into because I do not want to. Uh, it's. But back to what we were saying before, because I'm sorry, we've gotten so off topic here. I've just this game is just so good, and I've just become so distracted with it. It's like ah, oh, damn it. But uh, with characters being depicted in a sexual manner, does it bother me? Uh... She's the coolest, right? I don't want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this nickel flower repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. Repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Shit, what did I expect? Um... I know, it doesn't really bother me, per se. It's, it's a part of the internet. It's it's not something that is ever going to disappear or be removed from the internet. Unless there's going to be, like, some massive, like, censor... censor... censorship? Like... Con... Carnade? Which will be terrible, because... Freedom! Freedom of art! Wood? Yeah, but you see... Ah! Wood? Oh no, I forgot his voice. Wood? I haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Queen's. <laughs> Wanna come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll buy myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey. Hey, everyone. My sons, why don't you just stay for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Let's go with burger. Hey, this is pretty good. Really? We have a double order of a burger. A burger. So, uh, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty good guy. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You can only take the thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. Oh! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I don't want to insult him. I might as well say yes to everything. Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Yeah. Forget about it! You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Doing? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Pyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard? One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard, and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because this man died. The next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedications, I gave him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I want to ask you something. Oh? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I have. So you know all about it? Yeah, how it's a shitlord and just lies! The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Oh no. Flattery, vice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play, tri play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? 
Thanks. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, the flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Ah! God damn it! Just kidding. Really? Put it on my tab. This guy does not give fucks. No fucks are given. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I can see me hanging out with this person. I do hang out with people like this. What am I saying? Oh boy. Anyway, folks, this has been uh, Let's Play Undertale Part 6. We'll see you all next time on Part 7, where... Who knows what's in store? Possibly another date with a skeleton. Possibly the conclusion. Who knows? So farewell. Avita saying, "Epsi bye." Peace.